Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you connect or pair your Apple TV remote to your Apple TV. And hopefully if you have any issues with your Apple TV remote, we'll be able to find a solution in this video. I'm also going to go over how you can restart your remote and some things that you can do to try to fix whatever issue that you may have. So starting off, of course, you want to make sure that your Apple TV remote is charged. It has a rechargeable battery in it. So if it dies, that could be one issue that you might be having where the remote isn't working. Once we have a charged up Apple TV remote, if you want to pair it with your Apple TV, what we're going to do step one here is point your remote at your Apple TV and make sure that the remote is about three inches from your Apple TV. So make sure that it's very close. At that point, we want to press and hold the back and or menu button, depending on which Apple TV remote that you have. The older ones, it's going to be the menu button, whereas the newer one, it's a back button. And then also the volume up button, which is the plus icon. Hold both of these down simultaneously for five seconds. If asked, place your remote on top of the Apple TV to complete pairing. So this is going to be the process to pair or connect your Apple TV remote to your Apple TV. Now, if charging up your remote and pairing it to your Apple TV doesn't fix the issue that you're having, you can also restart your Apple TV remote. And the process to do a remote restart is going to be press and hold the TV control center button. That's this little icon that looks like a TV image on the Apple TV remote. And hold the volume down button, which is the minus sign at the same time. You're going to hold these two buttons down simultaneously for about five seconds or until the status light on your Apple TV turns off and on again. At this point, you can release the buttons on the Apple TV remote, then wait about 5 to 10 seconds for a connection loss notification to appear on your TV screen. At this point, wait while your remote restarts. When the connected notification appears, you can use your remote again. And just a couple of last things to do if you're still having issues, make sure that when you're using the Apple TV remote that you're within about 20 feet or 6 meters of your Apple TV and move anything that's blocking the path between your remote and the front of your Apple TV, television receiver, and soundbar. On top of that, you also have the option to unplug your Apple TV from the wall power outlet, wait at least 6 seconds, and then plug it back in to do a restart of your Apple TV device. And if you'd like to go to this web page to access this helpful information, I'll post a link down in the description if you'd like to access that for yourself. But those are the steps that you can try to help connect or pair or fix whatever issue you might be having with your Apple TV remote. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.